Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. As I noted in our last uh, Truth Report, we're starting a new series, a new emphasis on what I believe is one of the most important teachings in the Word of God concerning His people. And it has to do with His name, the name that God assigned to Himself, the name that is given to us throughout the Hebrew Scriptures, uh, especially and even in the New Testament as well. And it's the name of Yahweh. We looked at uh, Exodus chapter 3 and verse 15 last time. This is the authentication, if you will. This is the validation of the use of his name. <clears throat> God said to Moses, say to the Israelites. Now, <clears throat> um, we are, as believers in Jesus, a part of the Israel of God. We have been engrafted in, and you should know that that's your position. Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 says if you are in Christ, if you're in the Messiah, you are a descendant of Abraham and you're heir of the promises. So we are engrafted, we are brought in, we're accepted within the, the broader Israel of God. We don't play, replace Israel, no, no. But Israel, the understanding of Israel in the New Testament is broadened to include believers in Jesus. So this refers to us. God said to Moses, say to the Israelites, say to us. Yahweh. Now it says the Lord in the English translation. But wherever you see Lord in capital letters, as I've said before, that is Yahweh. That's the English translation. Lord is the English translation of Yahweh. Uh, say to the Israelites, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name, God says. This is my name forever the name by which I am to be remembered from generation to generation. <clears throat> and it's our task, it's our assignment to be among those to lift up and honor the name of Yahweh in these last days. It's going to be even more prevalent and more uh, predominant. And uh, we're excited about being a part of that. Now, I'm especially excited about what I want to share with you today. It's a promise of God that... Uh, uh, it, it stands above, certainly alongside, the great promises of God uh, to his people in the scriptures. It's found in Numbers chapter 7, or uh, chapter 6, I'm sorry, closing verses of chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. And you'll recognize this right away. Pastors use this to close off a service. Spiritual leaders will use it as a benediction. Yahweh said to Moses, Chapter 7, verse 22, Yahweh said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. That's us now. Remember that. We're engrafted into the Israel of God. This is how you are to bless. This is how you are to release the favor, the power, the grace of God on, on uh, God's people. Say to them, now this is familiar to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. <clears throat> the only problem is, well, let me just go to the concluding verse here, verse 27. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. Now, Lord is not his name. Once again, be assured of that. That is his title. His name is Yahweh, and we're to put his name, not his title, on his people. So in Hebrew, it 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 sounds like this. Yevareka Yahweh, veyishmareka, Ya'er Yahweh, panavaleka, veyichunecha, Yisa Yahweh, panavaleka, veyasem lecha shalom. In other words, Yahweh's bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Now may I say, and may I urge you to receive the blessing of Yahweh by uh, accepting his name upon you, placing his name upon you, and for your family, your loved ones, your children, your friends, put the name of Yahweh on him. The integrity of God stands or falls on a promise such as this. We have the certainty, the sure awareness that his blessing and his favor is forthcoming when we put his name you don't put his uh, you don't put lord that's his title you put his name yahweh and that is the truth <laughs>